two passions. I always wanted to travel and I always loved classic cars. One day we decided, hey, why, why don't just not uh, grab one of our cars and, uh, and just drive it around the world? So uh, we took uh, the worst section that we have, which is FSO. It's the worst car, one of the worst cars in the world. So we drive this car around the world because we love to travel, we love the classic cars and we want to be the first ones that actually will go around the world in a Polish classic car, Polish made, because it's, a, it's a, basically a Fiat but made in Poland during the communist era, so that's why it's called FSO. Well, basically when we crossed the countries and we started in Europe and came to here, to, to Asia, to Thailand, so we wanted to communicate, get in touch with uh, classic cars owners. And the sad fact for us is that uh, up to Thailand there's, there's almost no car culture, classic car culture. And the first uh, country which actually adores uh, classic cars, and you can find lots of classic cars here, uh, is Thailand. That's, uh, that's why we get in touch with Bangkok uh, Classic Car Club and Fiat uh, Club Talent. We wanted to meet with, uh, with you guys and um, just get to know each other and talk a little bit about the cars and get to know how does the car culture look like here. No air conditioning. Air conditioning? Hey, don't be surprised. Every car in Thailand got air con. Yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> Otherwise, we die on the road. No, not my car. <laughs> 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 he dies. <laughs> uh, we're really surprised at lots of many, lots of these old cars here. Uh, some of them are in use like as a daily drivers. Uh, uh, well, that's actually what, what we like most. If you uh, not only put a car uh, like in a garage museum, but you drive them uh, every day, drive them to to your school, to your uh, work. So that's that's so that's what I, what I like. That's what you see here, and we're really amazed by the warm welcome because, uh, well, I didn't expect that there would happen to to come as many cars as today. We got I know a dozen, like a dozen and a half of cars, uh, and it was really uh, well came out an hour. I didn't inform you in advance, and you happened to host us. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. We started from Gorzów, a city in Poland. We went through Slovakia, uh, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, Turkey. Uh, from Turkey to Iran, Pakistan, India, Nepal, Myanmar, into Thailand for a little while, and then up north into Laos, Cambodia, and back to Thailand. And the next plan is to go to Malaysia, ship the car to the North America. That's the plan. Uh, we will spend some time in uh, Canada and uh, USA. Then back, we will be shipping the car to Europe, to Portugal, from Portugal to Spain, France, and we're not sure what's going to be next. From France, maybe we'll go to Italy. Wait, we'll see. It's in a half a year, so we'll decide when we we'll reach Europe. So the main idea was uh, even driving the worst car, and one, or one of the worst cars. You can travel around the world, so sometimes there's Oh, there should be no excuses to realize uh, that if you want to do something, just do it. So if you dream about something, don't sit at home, just grab all the things into your hands and go, go for it. Well, my name is Pavel. I'm driving FSO 1500, which is basically Fiat 125. I'm from dokofiata.po. Driving with my wife around the world, now in Thailand. I can confirm it again. Thailand has the best roads since Turkey, and Turkey is almost in Europe. Uh -huh. All the Asian roads, besides on our way, of course, uh -huh. were much, much worse. Thailand has super roads. Thank you. <laughs>